Okay, my name is Omachuku Michael and I'm an architect. I am a full stack developer and I am a writer as well. My name is Peva Bangu. I am a front end developer. I'm Sonny Solomon, a front end developer. I am a Kondi Ozavise Joy. I'm a front end developer. My name is Levi Francis. Yeah, I'm a software developer. My name is Nadipita Chukameka and I am a web shoot developer. My name is Simulu Luabidoye, a front end developer. I'm Olaiwala Said, so I am a Web2 developer and a mobile developer. Much has been spoken about Web3. I want to be into it. I don't want to just hear. I want to be involved in Web. I want to be involved in the fast evolving technology and in Web3 as well. So it will be something nice for me. I want to be a Web3 developer because I'd say um, fascination and curiosity. I've used a couple of Web3 products and I was, I was just driven by the thoughts of how it works behind the hood. And being a techie person myself, I just ventured into this new adventure. I want to be a Web3 developer because of the innovative space. Like it's still quite young, so it provides a chance for me to innovate around the space and the global reach. I am excited about innovation and I like the prospects that Web3 has in terms of providing that innovation to the digital landscape. And I'm just excited to be a part of that whole development. I heard about Web3 Bridge from my sister. And when I said my sister, like, because I see the good. I heard about Web3 Bridge from a friend who heard from a friend. It's basically a chain and I like the idea. Majorly for the vision, what Web3 stands and what three bridge um, represents, what they stand to achieve. I heard about um, Web three bridge around 20, 2021 from a blockchain community, blockchain UNN community, and uh, also Gida Gida Tech community. I heard about Web three bridge from an alumni, just like every other person, and uh, in as much as I didn't know how it worked, I got a lot of testimonies from past alumni on how grinding and how uh, specific Web3 Bridge is in training their students to be the best Web3 developers they can be. So I heard about Web3 Bridge from an alumni of Web3 Bridge that was a friend and he was very emphatic about me joining the program because he said the curriculum was top-notch, he said it was intensive and it would give me like a solid platform to start a Web3 career. My experience during getting into the program was smooth. It was timely also. We got mails when we were supposed to get them. The tests were good, good timing as well, even though I wish it was more. I was, when I was uh, solving the interview question. <laughs> it was a serious one because trying to meet up with a two hours deadline in building a full web application. And as it was, it was nice. It was fun, mixed feelings. Um, at some point you are confident, at some point I was, will I, will I get in? But the, the whole process was seamless. The, the organizers tried as much as possible to make sure that um, they help you along the way. I was actually curious. I was like, should I, should I not? Because I was asking myself, even if I write this in, am I, will I get this, this, uh, or the opportunity to be part of the um, course? But I don't know what pushed me. So I just tried my best and it was a nice one. Before I applied for Web3 Bridge, I had been away from Web2 for some time. So I was a bit anxious because I wasn't sure I still had the skills to get into the program. So I had to spend some time practicing Web2 just to make sure that I was on par for the test. It was a bit nerve-wracking to see that, <laughs> to see my question and I was like, okay. But thankfully, it wasn't something I couldn't handle. I was part of the Web2 Advanced Quartz X and I was automatically on board. I was very, very excited because I had been looking for ways to basically scale myself in the web development landscape. And when I saw that, okay, now I can actually move forward in Web3, and I was, I was really, really happy. And I, 
I actually had to quit my job just to be here. When I was chosen, I was happy. I was happy. I was so happy I, I changed the location. I was I was coming from um, being, I, I represented my complaint for tech support. I was coming back with a colleague. We stay, we stay around the same area. And immediately I saw the mail like this. I told him, both of us shouted, oh, more mad, I changed the location. When I saw the email, actually, I was so happy because I never imagined myself being in the Web3, in Web3 Bridge, because I've heard a lot about Web3 Bridge and the calibers of people that graduated from there. So I was like, will I be able to? But I was so shocked when I saw the email, especially when they sent the email that I will be on site. I was so, so happy. Well, though I was elated when the email for the on-site program came in the morning. She made my whole day that day. It was one of my best day because it was a mixed feeling. Um, because I don't know, I was automatically onboarded. I did the assessments and so like, I just don't know, like one of my friends now said like, they sent some mail to those of us that were automatically onboarded. And I thought it just a normal me because we finished the web two advanced that congratulations on being moving to the next level. I was excited. I was shocked because I felt my interview was just the. It was almost like the last. I think I should. I was in the last um, um, day, and I got the email that was chosen two days after. It was so fast, and I was excited. Uh, after the 16 weeks, I hope that I am able to uh, write good smart contracts that will conform to industry standard and I hope to network with uh, like minds. My expectation is to learn and make good use of the time I'm here. Also to be to get to do life projects in Web3. And after 16 weeks, I should, I must be able to confidently solve a problem even before getting on my system. Yes, um, I want to be able to understand it so well and know why I write those contracts and not just write them. I hope to be able to be very familiar with the inner mechanics of how the blockchain works. I hope to make very deep connections with people that share the same goals as I do and be able to pay it forward to the community. I am hoping that at the end of the 16 weeks, I would be able to write practical, functional web smart contracts, be able to contribute meaningfully to the Web3 community. My expectation is that I hope to be able to write like secure smart contracts, be able to learn juicy blockchain rules and connect with or some people in, in this place before I leave. I hope to acquire a, a practical skill in writing and deploying smart contracts. 